trained from birth has got to be another trope, surely. Oh, another yeah. cliche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have, so let's say what we have. We have <laughs> <laughs> the cliche bingo for Seeker. Uh, the wake up opening, dying confession, tra train from the birth, mm -hmm. sort of child assassin, also kind of sort of sleeper agent because she doesn't she doesn't know what she was trained for. Uh, the mentor who knows more than uh, more <laughs> than uh, he lets uh, lets out. Absolutely yes. Uh, evil, uh, evil conspiracy is a little bit eh, mm. no, not quite there. Uh, there is uh, one uh, one trope that I don't think it's it's been described, at least not yet, or maybe it's described under a different name. I would call it the absent martial mother. <laughs> yeah. So so this would be. Uh, this would be what Allison is in uh, in Red versus Blue, to Carolina. Mm. So here Trista is this the jewel. Yeah. But uh, but that but this is not the very very widespread trope yet. So so at at least we have some some smidge of originality or some <laughs> smidge of uh, novelty going on. And and right. He he's got some tropiness going on about him. The jubilant bad guy. Yeah. Who's yeah. Too, Boist too boisterous, boisterous bad guy probably yeah. has a moustache. Uh, mm -hmm. Although no, well, but he he does have <laughs> the lavish hair uh, hair decoration kind yeah, of thing going on. Yeah. That feeds into his tattoos or or merges into his tattoos. I think that's cool. Douchebag haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Shaved um, pattern. And also not finishing off the good guy. Yeah, the this this is this guy. is this is that's a major a huge one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a huge one. <laughs> there is a villain speech kind of mm -hmm. sorta. And yeah. and indeed leaving the bad guy uh, I mean leaving the leaving the good guy bleeding out without making sure they are really dead. <laughs> <laughs> um Excellent. Yes. <laughs> I guess I guess uh, the presence of st standard galactic shared language and and credits also apply. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Credits are just the the go-to currency for sci-fi. I think mm -hmm. in most instances. <laughs> that was one of the things Carnage moaned about when he was when he started playing Syndicate. <laughs> It was like I'm. <laughs> I was born either hundred years too early or hundred years too late because he either wanted to be in the Wild West or he wanted to be in the time when it's all credits and flying cars and this. You know, <laughs> so. <laughs> He's like, some of you will get to see all this, but you'll be ninety and you'll be dribbling and you won't understand what's going on. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I, f I think uh, we can figure out a few more. So, like, we should dedicate a whole episode uh, or a whole session for doing the trope bingo. Oh, yeah. Or the cliche bingo for Seeker. <laughs> 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 Loudly and proudly. 